Welcome to Corvallis, Oregon, in the house Ocho Cinco and Hush Manzana built. Racer Stadium, home to the Oregon State Beavers. Little gets the blood boiling. Why like a rivalry game? Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number four team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, taking on a team from the Pac-12, the Oregon State Beavers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Beavers will kick it off to get us underway. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So Oregon's offense will take the first swing of the game. They've met in the so-called toilet bowl, and they've played to go to the Rose Bowl. It's run the gamut, but this one is always intense. Yeah, Reese, I called that game back in 2009 where the winner was going to go to the Rose Bowl and had a chance to really feel the electricity and the excitement at Autzen Stadium that day. This really is a tremendous run. And even when a Rose Bowl isn't on the line, Oregon, Oregon State just feels good. The in-state rivalry, the hate, it's always a good matchup. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Hand off from the gun. Nice move there. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. A program whose history is built on speed. Oregon just ran away from the Beavers last time. And the Ducks were ready to play a year ago. They were ready for a war. They came out, they took it to Oregon State. They didn't back off, Jesse. That game meant a lot to them. Yeah, they just caught fire early, and Oregon State couldn't put the fire out. They had no answers. Every possession Oregon had, it seemed like they were going up and down the field. So a big challenge for Oregon State in this one is to try to get off to a great start. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. It seems as if this old feud has been going on since Lewis and Clark set the foundation for the Oregon Trail. They've been playing since 1894, guys. Game's been played for a long time. A lot on the line in the state of Oregon. Bragging rights, Jesse, for a whole year. I feel like it's one of the rivalries in college football that maybe a lot of people don't talk about or really know about, but if you've ever been around this game and you know about the tradition and the history and the emotions surrounding this game, this is easily one of the best rivalries in college football. And the Ducks are marching down the field. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. It's now second down. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Hand off from the shotgun. Slithers into space. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The Ducks get a fresh set of downs with a fast, hard finish on that play. Fast is the word. As long as I can remember watching Oregon football, it's always guys that can get the football, get downhill, get back in the line of scrimmage, run the next play really fast, but it always starts with the ground game. Trying to find his man on first down. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Now facing some adversity on this drive after the loss of four at second and 14. Trying play action. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Ninth play of the drive coming up. A 
They'll have to convert third and long to keep it going. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Fires to the middle. He's got it. Defense knocks him down immediately after the catch, but now they're facing a goal-to-go -go situation from the seven. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Looking to throw on third and goal. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks! What a nice job by the offense. First drive of the game, they matriculated down the field, put themselves in a goal-to-go situation on third down. It's not going to be easy throwing it, but they win the matchup, accurate throw, and they get paid. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Oregon State Beavers offense will take the field for the first time. And you'd better be sharp throwing a football to the outside, Jesse, because both of these teams have lock-up corners. And they're really good at baiting you into throwing their way as well. You've got to be careful. And, David, I like these guys, too, because they're not afraid to get their face in the fan and support the run game. No doubt. It's fun because when you're a defense and you can shut down half the field, you can do so many different things to give other guys help because you trust these guys on an island outside. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll do it himself. Quarterback gets the first down. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. You know, I really like how this offense uses the QB in the running game because he might not be the fastest quarterback in college football, but he's got just enough that you have to respect him and you have to account for him defensively. Looking for a man, it's Branson. Fires to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. I gotta do something that they are not expecting because right now they got the run and they got the pass working. So this defense, they have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. It'll be a draw. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run it out of the shotgun. 
Got it inside the 30 before he's finally pulled down at the 25. It's a gain of six. Listen, I know that's not a huge gain, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Grabbed over the middle. It's Griffin. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. And the Beavers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it on the move. Takes it all the way down to the floor after making the grab, and they're set up. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The Beavers will try to punch it in on first and goal. And he'll be stuck. Got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. Brings up second. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Play number 10 on this drive in his third and goal. Wants to throw. It's Branson. Touchdown, Oregon State! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays. But how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. Ready to try the point after. Bangs it through for an extra point. So an 82-yard drive there. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's what makes this defense so difficult to run against. They've got guys up front that just push offensive linemen backwards. They basically push the blockers right into the lap of that running back. Let's see what they do on third down. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Ducks decide to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Slips through the line. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. 
Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense got to stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? They go to the draw. Smashes through. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Now the play fake. Grabbed in the middle, it's Terry. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, gets the first down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And it's difficult to contain athletic quarterbacks, but man, when everybody plays their assignment, it's a beautiful thing. I understand I got to take away this. I got to keep my eyes on the quarterback, make sure he doesn't pull that football. They weren't fooled, and the quarterback had nowhere to go with the football. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. Fast motion from the offense. Looking to throw, it's Branson. Unloads to the wideout. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Oh, man, you don't see many of those anymore. Nowadays, the gloves are so good. The hands are so good. You don't see a lot of drop passes. Missed opportunity there for the receiver. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for them. The Beavers will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the 5-yard line. Job there. Looking for room. It's James. Hammers his way across the 10, picks up four to the 11. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. just feeds the running back. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. On first down from their own 22. He wants to throw. Lofts one high and deep. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. And as an offense, you've got such a special talent playing QB. You've got to do a better job protecting him. If you can let this guy set his feet, he can light this defense up. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Makes the grab. And he's brought that 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And that's the danger. When you've got a receiver like that, if you blitz and you're playing man coverage, he's one-on-one, -on -one and he's going to burn you if you don't get home to the quarterback. Got to get everybody on the same page in a hurry. He's going to pass. Throws to the tight end. 
And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for the second down. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you could tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Line getting set on second down. They're going to throw it again. This one's complete. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. The Ducks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time it's second down. And hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. Let's see what the QB does moving forward. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. Makes a catch on the left. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. And he had to go a long way to reel that ball in. He started off way on the right, crossed the entire defense, made the catch on the other side of the field. There's an example of how this offense can really attack every corner of the football field. Looking to move it through the air. He's got it, and he will score! Touchdown, Oregon! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That makes the score. Oregon, 14. Oregon State, seven. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. They're working that left side. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. Back to throw, it's Go Branson. He lost one down the sideline. Grabs it inside the 15. They make the stop, but man, oh man, did he almost get a score on the final play of the half. A big game. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, from Corvallis to Eugene, there are some ornery folks and some emotional fan bases in this always contentious battle between the Ducks and Beavers. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Oregon and Oregon State played. 
And the Ducks will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And, and getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. They'll run play action. Throws to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. I love the coverage in the back end by the secondary. That DB was glued to the wide receiver, just staying right behind him. He was able to locate the ball, get his pile out there to knock it down. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. He can't make the catch. He was open on the crossing route, and instead they're facing a fourth down. Really nice job by the defense. Here in the second half, they've got to have the mentality with the lead. If we just don't give up any more points, we get the W. We got to make big Number plays on third down. They made a big one there. And the Beavers will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Off play action on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Ducks! And they take it in for six more points. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they top it off with a 31 yard toss for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Wells. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay 
I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. They'll throw it on first down. Quickly to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Here's the give off the left side. Didn't get much done on that, Ryan. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Throws for the tight end. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. The Beavers send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. The Ducks are in the hurry up. Takes a handoff and he's going right. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Picks up one. Brings up second down. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. It's complete to the left. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. The Ducks have it with a first and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. At the 35, he's loose. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. Off play action. Fires to the wide out. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Shotgun snap on third down. Didn't have much of a choice. Just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. 
Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy, a 42-yarder from the left hash. The official says no good. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead at 14. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. To the air, it's Branson. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man! That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. It's really easy to be a quarterback in an offense that runs the football and then runs play action. It makes it simple, it makes the reads easy, it sucks the linebackers and safeties up where I can just make plays right behind them. Wants to throw on first down. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They'll put it in play from the 40 on first and 10. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Keeps the legs moving. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Flag flies in as this one falls incomplete. We'll see who it's on. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On second down, he'll fire. They're setting up the screen, and he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, if you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. The Beavers will snap it on first and ten. To the air, it's Branson. He's got the tight end. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Yeah, this defense is going to have to have a plan for this tight end, especially when he lines up in the slot, because there's a lot of different routes he can run. And because of his size and his wingspan, he's very, very difficult to cover. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. That's caught. It's Terry. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the run, it's Griffin. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
and just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones, and they completely had him surrounded. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Into the end zone. Into the house. Touchdown, Beavers! Well, how about that? And after that touchdown, we might have a finish after all, Jesse. I love it, Reese. And this team is not quitting. Yeah, they're down on the scoreboard right now, but they are clawing and they are scratching their way back in this game. They're going to keep going hard until this clock reaches all zero. Lining up for the PH. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Out of the gun, the inside give. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And this guy really has been a workhorse today. He's made plays when his offense has needed them the most. He's a guy who's reliable. They know they can turn around, give him the football, and he'll go make things work out. And they're going to need him to finish this game. He has to continue playing well after that big run there. The give from the gun. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. All right, so I know the defense is going to be aggressive, right? They got their stop. They forced a third down. How aggressive does the offense want to be in response? Because if I throw the football, get a first down, I can run this clock almost out. This defense has to make a choice. But this offense, how aggressive do you want to be? They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That's a big stop. That running back has had so much success. You're down in the football game. You need to get the ball back to your offense. You create a play like this. This will get the fires going, get the juices going. Now we've got to go get a few more. And the Ducks will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Caught over the middle. It's Terry. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Stopped at the 41-yard line after the 5-yard gain. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw it. A strike downfield. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. And the Beavers come to the line with a new set of downs. Back to pass. It's Golbranson. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. Hey, and you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? You got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. Going up top on first down. He just about put this game away if he'd been able to hold on to that one. Instead, it's second down. 
Nice job by this defense. You go dime package. Why? Because you know the offense is going to throw the football. Great job matching up. More skilled players on more skilled players. More speed on the field to defend the pass. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Got it set up on the outside. And it's pretty obvious there was a big hole in that screen, and the defense ran right through it. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they love to convert this third and long. Catch in the middle. It's Terry. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. He's tackled at the 11-yard line. Second down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking to pass. It's go Branson. He's got it on the run. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. And guys, if they can somehow, some way, find their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth. Looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. He just about put this game away if he'd been able to hold on to that one. Instead, it's second down. I can't believe it. He had a chance to just end the game right there. If the defender makes the catch in the end zone, up a possession, this is ball game. But because he put it on the ground, this offense still has life. He wants to throw here on second down. He caught him. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end of this game. And he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. And here in the final minute, they're a single point behind. And great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game. Now, all you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do, just like practice. Knock it through the uprights, tie this football game. And we might be looking at overtime soon. So you think this is automatic? They need this one badly. And no problem on that extra point if we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they've got it locked up in the final minute after the touchdown and extra point. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Three tight ends in the formation on first and 10. From the gun, running back gets to give. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Brings up second down. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions, probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? 
All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Quickly complete. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. To throw, it's Branson. Got his man downfield. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. First and goal as they try to jump on top here in overtime. They'll go to the air. He wants it all. And it's incomplete as he was trying to make the play in the back corner of the end zone. Defense rose up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. If he runs this back, this game's over. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And they'll take over first and second. First down in this defense is desperate. Any kind of score and it's over. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. It's now second down. Here comes the offense on second down. The play action fake. Looking down the middle. He caught it. He got it in. A walk off touchdown in overtime. This dude is revving his engine like that duck coming out on a motorcycle. He is putting up points and finding the promised land. And it's nice to have a guy that can do that. Goodness gracious, they just keep finding at Oregon is trigger men. Not only throw the football, but guys who can pick them up and put them down and make big plays.